Super is a LLVM IR open source super optimizer developed by software engineers at the University of Utah, Google, Nvidia, Microsoft, and other institutions that don't take the time to read your resume. Super optimizers are something you never heard about, and that's why I'm running a low subscriber count YouTube channel. Even though it sounds like something I randomly made up, super optimizers are an actual thing. And if your main sources of information are not Twitch and TikTok, you probably heard about code optimization. In this video, I will show you how to use Super. I will show you real data, how it produces a smaller size binary compared to normal compilers. And then, if you're still interested, I'm gonna show you where to find it and how to build it. Okay, let's go. So the Super source code is in the public Google GitHub. Let's take a look at the readme. Okay, Super is a super optimizer for LLVM IR. They also published a scientific paper where it's described in much more detail how all of this works together. But in order to get an idea how a super optimizer works, stay with me now, I promise I will keep it short. So usually compiler optimizations like for example that code elimination focus on transforming the program in a systematic manner. And the actions taken by the optimizer are backed by proofs that are both sound and complete. Soundness, unsoundness, we added in the last video with the iCosthetic code analyzer if you remember. Now, the super optimizer uses a new radical way of performing optimization. Instead of taking the traditional approach of transforming the input program, the super optimizer converts the problem into a search space and attempts to find the shortest program that is able to provide the equivalent output. So the result of using a super optimizer should be a more optimized and smaller in size binary file. Okay, now let me show you how to use it. If you go to the usage section, using super. So there are multiple ways on how to use super, but the easiest one is by using these drop-in compiler replacements or how the developers called it drivers. So during your build process, instead of calling Clang or GCC, you will call S-Clang or S-Clang++ for C or C++ respectively. If you're building with CMake, you can specify this in your CMake list file. Okay, let's take a look at an example. Okay, in the first example, I'm gonna compile a Hello World project using Clang and then using S-Clang. And then we will compare the binaries and the object dumps to see if there are any differences. Okay, let's go. This is the project, so regular is gonna be built with Clang and soup's gonna be built with S-Clang. So let's start. Just call CMake and then make. Then try to run it, hello world, okay. Then do the same here, CMake, and then make. Hello world super, it's working, okay. Uh, now let's move hello, hello world super to Okay, Okay. so now if you take a look at this, you will see that the hello world binary compiled with super is a bit smaller than the hello world regular. Since this is a very small program, you can't expect like huge differences. It's only 64 bytes, okay? But it still shows that there is a difference. But now let's make an object dump and see what happens. Just type in object dump dash d and then the file name. Hello world regular and then we're gonna save it as regular dump and then the same object dump dash t hello world super dump to create a super dump okay and now as you can see there's a slight difference in super dump and regular dump i assume it's only because of the file name they should be the same so just type in diff regular dump and then the super dump and as you can see it's just the file name 
Okay, this was a very basic, very, very basic example. Now let's take a look at the real life scenario. So we have a complex project that we want to optimize with the super optimizer and see if it will make any difference to the binary. Now, if you're wondering why would anyone want to save like, I don't know, 500 kilobytes or something, the reality is if you're working in an embedded software development, oftentimes even one kilobyte can mean a lot. So as a real life use case, I could imagine someone wanting to use the super optimization to shave off some size from the binary. Okay, so for the more complicated example, we will compile flat buffers with clang and then with s clang. And as many of you know, I'm a big fan of flat buffers. Let's find it in the repositories. Just go in flat buffers. Okay. Flat buffers is built with CMake and Clang. Okay, so I already cloned the repos and it's the same as before. We have regular and we have soup. Regular is compiled with Clang and soup is compiled with S Clang. So let's do it. Flat buffers. First create a build folder. And if anyone's wondering, I modified the CMake list file. So the regular is using Clang, as I said, and in the and in the other one, I modified the CMake list file to use S Clang. So just type in CMake. Okay, and then go make. Okay, once that's done, we can go to the other one. Build directory, build CMake. Okay. And then make. Okay, once that's done, you will see that these five binaries have been created. And now we can make this list. And now we can create these list files and compare them to one another. Okay, and now if we open it, I know there are many ways to make a different files. And I'm completely aware of that I don't need to create two projects, okay? Before everyone gets triggered. Okay, so now if you take a look at the two lists next to each other, you will see that the ones that have been built using Super or S Clang are smaller in size compared to the ones that have been built with Clang. It's not a huge difference, but I would say something like 3 to 8% smaller binaries. Okay, now let's create the object dump from this flat C file. Okay, now let's rename flat C and move it to the root of the project. Flat C. Flat C rec. Okay, uh, move flat C, flat C soup. Flat C rec, flat C soup. Now let's create the object dump. So object dump dash d flat c rec dump rec. And then the same for soup. And now let's take a look at the object dumps. Okay, in the Hello World project, the object dumps were exactly the same for the super and for the normal clang. The only exception was the name. But now if you take a look at these two object dumps for a much more complex project than my Hello World, you will see that there are much more differences. And I'm not going to analyze now what's this like 700,000 lines or something. But as you can see, there's clearly a difference. And the difference was also in the size of the binaries. Now, what you would need to do is to run some tests and see if your executable is behaving in the expected way. Okay. Okay. So that covers the basics, how the super optimizer works. Feel free to clone it and to test it. Now, let me show you how to build it. Okay. So let's go back to the super repo building super. We first need a link. And we can create a build soup directory. Get clone. And what they provide is this really nice 
dependency script. So we just need to run this build dependency script. And it will install all the dependencies. If I remember correctly, some dependencies are missing. So you will need to install them manually. But it will show you which ones are missing. So don't worry. And after that's done, you can create a build directory. You go into build. <clears throat> and then you just need to run cmake. And after that, you run make. And it will build it. One thing you need to be aware of is that this build will take like something like one hour or even longer. So if it's taking forever, don't worry, that's completely normal. And after it's done, it will create these binaries that you can then use. In the build directory, you will have these super sclang sclang plus plus libraries, and you need to add this folder to your path, and then you can just run sclang instead of clang and use the super optimizer. Okay, so basically that's it. And now, if you're wondering why would anyone use a super optimizer, well, one of the main use cases is optimizing compilers so that compilers get better at optimizing your spaghetti code. Okay. So let me know in the comment section what do you think about the super optimizer. Okay, that's it for today. If you liked the video, hit like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Tariq 10x.